Next, I will create a resource in API Gateway, uh, and then I'll uh, create um, uh, get and post APIs, and then associate uh, the Lambda, which we have previously created, get items and post items to these uh, APIs. So for that, so let's go to the API Gateway. So in the find services, uh, I can search for uh, API Gateway and select that. This will redirect me to the API Gateway uh, console. So in the API Gateway, I have uh, different kind of uh, API types from which I can choose one type. So these types are uh, HTTP API, WebSocket API, REST API, and REST API private. I'll move forward with the REST API. I'll click on build. Uh, this is giving me uh, a welcome note uh, uh, because I'm here for the first time uh, uh, in, in the API and gateway console in this specific region. I'll select OK. So there are um, two kind of protocols from which I can choose. One is the REST and the WebSocket. I'll choose the REST uh, API protocol. Um, uh, create for the create new API I have three options new API import from swagger or open API 3 or example API I'll select the new API uh, in the API name I'll give uh, a name let's say shopping demo in the description I can put some description over here but like uh, I'm moving forward without uh, giving any description there in that end point type there are three types regional edge optimized and private i'll choose the default one the regional and then i'll hit the create api uh, so right now shopping demo api is created so in the resources uh, i want to create an, a resource let's give it a name item resource um, and then maybe i want to enable api gateway course so I'll check that and then create resource. Um, this will create uh, the item resource. So right now I can uh, create methods uh, in this item resource. So let's start with the get method. So select the get method and um, hit the mm, tick box and uh, then uh, from here the item get set up so i want to associate um, the uh, get item lambda method to this get request so let's search for uh, the get item and then click save and uh, i also want to add the permission to invoke the lambda function from uh, the api gateway i want to add that so i'll select ok and uh, this will create the get api method so let's test that and uh, for the get get method i'm not uh, passing any query string parameter and um, the header is also empty so i'll just hit the test so right now you can see like I'm getting a response um, um, of uh, the my item which uh, which I'm returning from the lambda function uh, so let's move towards the second method let's hit the create method and uh, here I'll select the post one and uh, click the tick mark and um, here from here i want to associate the other lambda method that is the save item i'll search that and then i'll save this i also want to add the permission for uh, this lambda method as well and uh, this will save uh, the setup settings so uh, let's test this post method uh, in the header um uh not in the header but like in the request body i want to send a payload uh, there is another item name and the price so let's 
test that so you can see uh, in the body like I'm sending this um, JSON object and uh, I'm getting uh, a response from a save item function so that is the item was saved so next I wanna enable the sign request in the API gateway uh, so for that let's go to APIs select the shopping demo API and then select the method get method and uh, from here mm, let's select the method request so in the settings so the authorization there are two kind of authorization one is the none and the other one is the AWS IAM I want to select that AWS IAM authorization over here so what it will do is like it will enable sign request in API gateway so it will let API gateway know that uh, like uh, when, whenever this get item API is uh, uh, is called then basically the api gateway wanna create a hash of that uh, specific api and then there is another hash that is part of this get api header and uh, if both uh, hashes are same then um, then api gateway will accept that request otherwise uh, api gateway will reject that so let's do this and the same thing we want to do with the post um, method for that let's go to the method request and change the authorization from none to AWS IAM so let's select that we also want to add some more permission into the lambda functions so that uh, uh, API gateway can have full access uh, to invoke the lambda function in case of uh, um, the sign the API request so for that let's move to the AWS Lambda so uh, I'll select the Lambda and uh, from here I select first select uh, get item Lambda method go to the permissions from here open this uh, in a new tab and uh, then attach a policy the policy is Amazon API Amazon API gateway invoke full access let's select that and attach that policy to the get item lambda method and uh, let's do same thing with the other lambda so let's select the save item go to the permission tab open this role and uh, click on attach policies and then also search for amazon api gateway invoke full access select that and attach that policy so right now um, these policies are attached with, with both of the roles in both of the uh, lambda functions after adding those policies uh, in uh, AWS lambda functions uh, the next step is uh, uh, to deploy these API's and then we can test it uh, using the postman as well as uh, node.js code so let's go to the api gateway and then click on shopping demo api and then from the actions if i select the resource and then from the actions um, select deploy api and uh, uh, i need to give the name of the deployment stage let's create a new stage that is state name is the dev state description development 
informant. Oops. I have a typo there. So then click on uh, deploy. So this will basically deploy the API, API and um, it will generate a invoke URL for that. And uh, let's test the get item URL. Let's select that. Go to a new tab, copy this URL there and hit enter. So I'm getting uh, the missing authentication token error message. So this is expected because um, I have set uh, I am authorization in uh, API Gateway. So this API is expecting me uh, to send the um, access key and secret access key with this request. So for that, let's go uh, to the Postman to test the sign request.